Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Dan, again. How are you doing? I have not joined any kind of biker gang or anything. This bandana is... Sorry about that. <laughs> this bandana is there so I don't burn in the heat because it is... If you're in the UK right now, you will know what I mean when I say it is extremely hot right now and humid so yeah I'm I'm layered down today and I've got the fan on and all the lights are going to cook me but we'll get through this so I hope you guys are well it's been a whole week already I still can't believe it's been a week so um, we're gonna crack on with level 8 today yes at last level 8 uh, it's been a long time coming and I know you guys have been looking forward to this so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get onto it in a little bit but first I do want to show off what I've been doing for level 9 um, I've had other commitments throughout the week unfortunately um, so I've hadn't I haven't had as much time as I would have liked to start to have on uh, doing level 9 but you may recognize just this little bit of a beginning area um, for level 9. Um, this is where the elevator comes up. Yep, once the player enters level 9, the only way is onward, there's no turning back. And spoilers there. If you haven't played the game yet. Uh, so, yep. That's what I've been up to. Just a tiny bit of level 9, but t today we're finally going to start on level 8. So, uh, let's quit chatting and get right to it. I've already made a tiny bit of a start on it already. I've just gotten this little beginning area sorted out just so we have something to kind of start with. So uh, yeah, let's crack right on with it. As always, I have my lovely host with me. Hi, Carly. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm trying to assure the chat that I am not a robot. Oh, you're not a robot. People have seen me. I <laughs> don't go beep boop. <laughs> uh, oh yes, and I do have a nice tall cold glass of uh, Strongbow Dark Fruit, so I will be taking occasional sips of that. Don't tell GGD, but I have a Nas. Don't tell him. Okay, I won't. It's super secret. <laughs> He'll yell at me. <laughs> right, so let's crack on with things straight away. So if you guys don't know level 8, um, you should be able to see it on my screen now. It is one huge towering level. It goes up so many spaces. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a very, very fun and interesting one to do. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to... Um, do the floor. That'll give us an idea of where we are spatially as we sort of map this area out. Um, do the first 200 high walls of this entire area and we'll build up on that. I think that is where most of the time for this stream will be today. Um, so, yeah. But Rome wasn't built in a day, so. It wasn't? Nope. Are you going to build Rome next? Ooh. Could do. Block out in block out Rome in 2 months. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> okay, so we've got a 400 wide floor that's 300 blocks long. So we'll just start off with that straight away. Hope you guys had a great weekend, by the way. Let us know if you did anything interesting. Um, we'd love to hear about it. Um, one thing I do know, Steve won't be sneaking in the stream. He's currently about 3,000 miles in the air. I don't know how high a plane flies. <laughs> I feel as if he's probably almost landing or probably at the airport now. Mm. I don't know. When, I don't even know what time he left. I have no idea about that, but... It's a mystery. He's somewhere. Uh, 
He he's somewhere either on the, in in the sky or on land. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, why did I shape that? I should make that six hundred first. Okay. We will be doing a giveaway of th um, three keys today on the stream. Just so everyone sticks around. Um, we'll do two keys for Noctropolis and then one key for our newest, newest game. Not nudist game. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a slip. Oh god. <laughs> um, shoot. Now I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> should, we, should, 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 should we keep it a surprise until we are ready to give it away, or should we just say it? Yeah, okay. uh, we'll keep it a surprise. Yeah, two keys for Nectopolis and one for a mystery game. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> exclamation point raffle, as Darth has already done, will enter you into this raffle. I'll choose the first winner in maybe 30, 40 minutes. Sounds good. Uh, I want geometry, come on, there we go. That geometry was just not agreeing with me. No. As some people in um, chat already know, I have been streaming Noctropolis, and because I've been streaming that, and because Daniel's so passionate about it, <laughs> I thought everyone should be playing it. Game does not get enough love. I have been enjoying it so far. It's been pretty ridiculous. Hmm. I've only had a few moments where I'm like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've been loving um, the horrendous but wonderful dialogue that happens. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's so cheesy. I love it. It is great. Okay, so, oh, if you do see, yeah, there'll be some camera shaking in the uh, original game itself. That's not a bug on the streaming side. That's uh, part of the game. Just letting you guys know. So, we've got our first floor elevator, so we can count how many blocks up to that. Sorry, were you going to say something? Oh, it's more Noctopolis stuff. Because ah. <laughs> third player's like, don't forget the cool idle animation, which is literally frozen. <laughs> you do not move. There is no idle animation. Nope. <laughs> and I was, I cannot get over his snazzy outfit that makes him look like he works at Target with his beige pants and red top. <laughs> he looks like he's the manager of a Target. That game, that game starts off so sad as well. It's... Uh, if you examine, it's so over the top sad. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> like you start off in a comic. Okay, so you start off in a comic book shop, and everything you examine is like, oh, this is a bill that you haven't paid. The guys are gonna come round and break your thumbs if you're not careful. And oh, you haven't been bothered to repair the fix in the leak, uh, the, the leak in the roof because you think Literally what's the think point? Literally, everything is wrong. Yeah. Everything is wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very much. It, it starts off very depressing, but it gets really cool. It's it, it, depressing in a funny kind of way. It's like, oh my god, this guy's really <laughs> let himself go. I'll, I'll say where I left off is I just um, donned new outfit. Ah, nice. I don't want to spoil this how old game? 90s? <laughs> Ooh, 1994. I think it's about 20... Oh my god. 24 wow. years old, I think. I'm sure it's, it's almost as old as me. Oof. Let me look. I see people on Twitter say, Oh my god, look at this retro Dreamcast game. It's so retro. Know. Look at it. It's so old. Look at these old graphics. Haha, <laughs> so it's old. No, no. I just shed a tear. Yeah. It's just a reminder. I shed a tear. I saw someone post on Tumblr going, if you haven't played <clears throat> any of the portable, the portable, portal games, they're real classic, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Portal's not even old. Mm. What is happening? Yeah. But yeah, you're right. Noctopolis is 94. So 
This game came out when I was three years old. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh boy. I'm nervous because I haven't uploaded it yet, but my stream of Noctopolis, mm -hmm. I think I was in a weird mood that day because I was doing voices, inconsistent voices, that is, for every character <laughs> and like acting along with the obtuse um, character's <laughs> motions. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous to look at it. I love this, the guy you meet at the beginning, the uh, paper seller. Damn, you must be really out of it. You're in downtown Metropolis, <laughs> pal. He's like making fun of me. He's like, you look awfully weird. Damn. Like, you, you look, look weird. You don't look like you're from around here. It's great. Okay. I feel like we should completely <clears throat> remake Noctopolis and act it out ourselves for all the <laughs> FMV. <laughs> I will literally play every female character wearing a different wig in each scene. <laughs> a different character. <laughs> Heck, I'll play the main character, too. <laughs> Darth is asking if I ignored him, but I didn't see his question. If you... To... If you, um... What is it? Um, at Night Dive Studios? It'll oh. turn in black and we can see it. Yeah, he said he, he did at me, but oh. I think the chat went too fast. And ah. I might have been looking something up. Um, he's asking, is there a way after blocking out a level to tell if you left an area open or missed a spot? We have a tool um, to point out um, leaks in the BSP. Um, Matt made it. Um, and... Um, yeah, that's what we used to. Um, it kind of, it's like um, okay. So if you if you've ever used Source, uh, the Valve level editor, uh, it has a tool. The world is built in Source, like it is in Unreal, or this version of Unreal. And um, it's an additive editor, which means you build things in blocks. You don't carve things out. It's not subtractive, it's additive, and you have to completely seal an area um, in BSP. And they've and in, Val, uh, in Hammer, they have a tool, you press a button, and it will draw a red line to wherever it finds um, a BSP leak, so you can close the hole. Unreal doesn't have that, but we wrote a tool that does that for us. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Barack says, you kind of look like Fred Durst with a red bandana. <laughs> I am craving a chocolate starfish and some hot dog flavored water right now. But I guess I'll just have to do with dark fruit strongbow. So... <sighs> In my bedroom, next to the desktop computer, that's where the window is. Um, we've had to take down the screen from the window because it broke. And recently, my small cat has figured out how to get through that window. <laughs> and out of nowhere, he bursted through last night and scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I just see this little head poke through and like fall into the room. And I'm like, how did you get up there? <laughs> How? You're so small. Cats will be cats. Now that is where an editor would need a leak spotter. There was a leak in my room.
So yeah, reminder, I already said this a few things. Um, if you have a question for Daniel, just at Night Dive Studio so I can see it. Um, and we'll be doing our first giveaway in 20 minutes. Cool, cool. Uh, two, four, six. That looks to be eight hundred. Yeah, that's eight hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's eighteen hundred. Yeah, well we're um, in the UK, we're set for a two week long um, heat wave. And I read just before we went on the air that um, pavements, uh, sorry, sidewalks um, around the UK have started melting because it's so uh -huh. hot. So, <laughs> we get really bad power outages here because of the heat. Mm. So, as soon as uh, next month comes around, I feel like mid-next month it's going to get so hot that we're going to be experiencing some outages. Mm. So, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yes, Nordel 2, the sun does shine here. What? Sounds like a lie. Um... Third player wants to know if Metal Fatigue will be on Steam at some point. <laughs> uh, at some point, yes. Eventually. Uh, I've become all discombobulated. There we are. Um, Darth says, How do you set the scale in the editor? For instance, you use a 2m or meter scale. How could you change that? Um, well, I'm under instruction not to, because um, the way the art will be created for this level, um, if I go off the size that we've set, um, Chris will be very, he won't be happy, <laughs> to put it mildly. So we have, we have like standards in place to say this has to be this size, this has to be that size, or everything we make won't fit. We could stretch it or scale it, but it just wouldn't look right. So we sort of s we all sit down and say, okay, these levels need to stick to these principles, and we need to we need to make sure of that. Um, so Chris decided um, how everything will be. I follow orders. Simple as that. If that answers the question. <laughs> um, Ivan Prof says, Daniel, what will wait oh sorry. What will you do after block out the block out of all levels? Uh, what will happen then is, once the blockade is done, I will go around and place um, actual assets into the game. So, what is happening... I'm, do I'm doing the blockade and we have other people making uh, like the, the pickups around the game. Like the keycards, audio logs, the demo patches, all that stuff. So... Um, those things are being created right now. It will be my job to go in and put all that stuff in the 
block out. But what will happen is they'll be on a... So, uh, how do I explain this? Um, what you can do in Unreal, modern Unreal these days, is you can... Um, it's kind of like Photoshop in regards to you can have uh, layers of um, different things. So, like you would have a black background as one layer in Photoshop and you'd put, I don't know, an image or some text on. It's a little bit like that. Um, so I'd create a different layer of the level and go around putting that stuff in. Um, so that can be... So, so it's, it is a part of the level but it also isn't. It's a, it's a bit complicated to explain but that's how it works. Or it will work. Um, so, um, yeah, that, that's that's that. And that's that. Mm -hmm. um, referring back to Darth's earlier question about the scale, mm -hmm. um, Darth wanted to add. I mean, as if I were to use it on my own for a game I've designed, how would you change it? Um. How would I change it? How? Yeah. Um. <sighs> Carefully. I guess so. You'd you'd have to. I guess, I guess like what we've done, you'd have to like if you were to obviously if you're doing things yourself, you'd be fine. But if you have a team, you'd have to kind of test things and see what works and change change it based on your preferred workflow. Um, you can change it. Um, I, we tend to work in Unreal Unit, so um, we... The, the main thing we go off is the um, snap, uh, the grid snap value. So right now it's at 50. You can see these squares down here. So like there, that's 2 by 4 just there. But if I change that down to 10 you get all these squares and this this is fine if you want to do sort of detailed moving around of things but um, moving uh, creating block out and moving it on a by uh, on a 10 scale is inefficient you want things to snap together and you want things to be um, it it just allows people to work more quickly. So, like, if I were to if I were to move that block out there, for example, um, if I want to snap that close to that, I just do that, and that's done. If I move it back out there, and if I change that down to a ten, now I have much more control of it. But I need to I need to go in and I need to line that block up very carefully so that it's flush with that other block that's it's not very quick so um, it's just down to really your your preference but if you're doing block out usually a 50 grid is sensible or at least that's what I've found um, so I hope I hope that answers the question um, but I am getting distracted so let's quickly move on um. Just to confirm, you're playing Spyro music? Yes. All right, chat wanted to know. I always play Spyro music, because Spyro's great. I turned it down a little bit a moment ago, because I thought it was too loud. Um. Do, 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 okay. So we have three, then one, then two. Okay. Um, Ivan wants to know what your favorite Spyro game is. Ooh, I'd have to say Spyro.
Spyro 2. Gateway to Glimmer. Um... Although Year of the Dragon was really good. Um, Gateway that one's my favorite. Yeah, Gateway to Glimmer was... I don't know, it just did a lot of things right. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Two, 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 three, then a space, then one, then a space. Oh, um... Gateway to Glimmer is Ripto's Wrath in your in America, I think. Uh, ooh, uh is, is that its name? In the US it's something different. Ripto's Ripto's Wrath or something. I think. I don't know. It's just known oh, as Gate Ripto's, Ra Ripto's Rage. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. It's just Gateway to Glimmer over here. I'm not sure why they changed the name, but in EU and Australia, it's Gateway to Glimmer, it says, and Ripto's Rage here. Mm. Two, three, four. Um, Darth's asking, will there be jiggle physics slash mechanics in Cyborg similar to the <laughs> Dead or Alive series? I think... And he said it's a joke question, but I, I remember Steve saying that he wanted jiggle physics for the sax. <laughs> All cyborg enforcers will have jiggle physics. Is that right? Uh, oh, no, that's not right at all. Hang on. Yep, move that there, move that there. Yeah, that's right. After the stream, I have to continue sewing. Sewing and sewing and sewing. Sewing? We you making? Costume. I'm making my ah. Hot Team Epic uh, sailor uniform. Oh, okay. Uh, is that right? Three, one, two. Sorry, something doesn't look right. Hmm. Six minutes until I pick a winner for the raffle for the first key for Necropolis. So exclamation point raffle if you haven't already. Uh, something right here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Sorry guys, one sec, something seems to have gone wrong here somewhere. Why is that not matching that? I'm going to keep moving things until I find the problem.
Uh, sorry for being quiet. I'm just trying to work out what the heck has gone wrong. I want you to be able to focus. Yeah. I'm a strong winner in three minutes, though. Okay. I've measured everything correctly, so why isn't it lining up? Did I... That's four. One, two, three, four. Then there's that room. Then that's three. Three. Um That lines up with that. That lines up with that. That lines up with that. That doesn't line up with that. Why? Do, do, do. Will the reboot have a dialogue wheel for negotiating with your dance friends? Uh, no. That'd be funny. It would be funny though, yeah. Um, here's a question from Ivan. What, what's your favorite Shodan weird robot from SS1 or more human form from SS2? Um, I think the Cortex Reaver. That thing is just so badass in its design and, um, yeah, th the co uh, co Cortex Reaver, yeah, that's my answer. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, 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 okay. Ah, is that it? Did I screw up there? Were we being yeah. distracting? Uh, no. Yeah, that's where I screwed up, I think. Okay. No, yeah, okay, that's where I went wrong, I think. I hope. <laughs> Gotta get this floor right, guys, because if I don't, it will screw up the rest of the level, and I don't want that. Alright, I'm going to choose a winner for the first Nectropolis code. Good luck. So that's there, that's there, that's there. Alright, and the first winner is... Talantis. Talantis, nice. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Okay, I think that's fixed. I will do one last check just to make sure. So, that like that. Yeah, let's go around clockwise. So that entrance looks like that. Then we have one, two, three. That pillar.
pillar goes up there. I stand for the robot. Then robot. that. The robot. Then two, one, three. So we've got two, space one, space three. That's correct. Then that wall goes in there. Another stand for that robot. And then another angle. Angle, stand, angle. That's fine. The pathway up. That wall goes onto there. That should be 1800. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's correct. That stays there. That's like that. Stand. Angle, stand, angle. Angle, stand, angle. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got that 200 space for that hallway. Then one, two, three. Two, three. Then angle, stand, angle. Angle, stand, angle. Got that wall. Then one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's correct. Thank goodness for that. Right, so now we can put in the floor. Okay, here we go. So that floor is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so change that twenty two hundred. Put that there. Yep, that ends right at that point where that angular floor stops so there's a huge pillar that goes right up to the roof so we'll want to put that in now yeah Okay. Get this little bit of floor in. It's f four by two. Excuse me. Put the floor for that. Pulsar lift in there, that goes up a fair way, isn't it? Okay, so. So now, oh yeah, we should start putting in the walls for this thing in the middle, shouldn't we? That would be helpful. Well, now that I've got that first floor part in, we can sort of judge it right from here, so. That pillar finishes that corner so we've got 400 uh, put this little bit of floor in here just to make sure that it's correct Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, that sh should be a thousand. No, twelve hundred. Two, 
two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, that's correct. All right. I will build these walls. Um, two hundred. Um, thick by 200 lengthways for now I can always alter them later he did he do that goes there that's 400 that way oh okay So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two hundred, make that eight hundred. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There we go. And that's just a 200 thing. We'll, I'll do the inside of that room f after I've done the outer area. One, two, three, four. Okay. So yeah, that should be... Yes, that's correct. That's 200 width of corridor if you like uh, two four six in this direction then we have a doorway and then just 200 Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And then two, four, six, and doorway. Two and four, six, doorway, then we want to copy that. Uh, 
Hang on a sec. Two for six. Someone's saying one of the wedges is too far back? Yeah, something isn't right again. <laughs> um, that's 200. Hmm. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, I've gone wrong again. Oh, what is going on? Right, let's try this again. So that's 300, then a doorway, then 100. Goes like that. Oh, yes. Right, yes. I see what I've done. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Found it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Yes, whoever pointed that out. Thank you. I think it was Devour Mistress. Thank you. I think. Hold on. Wait, no. No, it was... Scoos scoos. Like couscous. <laughs> Maybe both of them did. Yeah, there we go. That matches up fine. Then two, four, six, eight, a thousand. Two, four, six, eight, one thousand. Yeah, we got this. <coughs> Change the X to a thousand. Yeah, we got that. Cool. Now we can put in the uh, rest of the floor. Two, What's up four, with six. turtles and being abandoned all the time? Because I've hmm? had like three different friends recently say they found abandoned turtles. Oh. And turtles are always getting abandoned in public ponds and lakes. That's not nice. It's so sad. That make that six hundred. Copy that one. Copy that one twice. Um. Oh yeah, we've got a pillar here, haven't we? Okay. Yeah, guys, look after your pets. Give them good homes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Two, four, six.
Yeah, this is looking good. So this should be two, four, six. Oh no, hang on. Two, uh. four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, two, 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 four, six. Okay. Change that to that, and that should fit. Ooh, it fits ever so perfectly. Sorry, are you going to say something? Uh, the third player is wondering if you wanted a screenshot of the original level in the editor so you can see the units uh, from the floor from above. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, can you send that over Discord to Daniel directly? Yeah, I'll put it in the... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? The general chat and I'll find it. I won't you I I will use it to just double check that everything looks okay. Obviously it'll I will stick to in game for kind of eyeballing it like I normally do. Two four then we have a pillar. Oh no, hang on. Two, four, six, eight. 1200 mm -hmm. Looking good Then Pillars in really weird places. Okay, that should be six hundred, two, four, six hundred. Yup. Uh, two, 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 four. Okay. Filling in the rest of this floor should be. Pretty easy, because all the units are right for the walls and stuff. I can, I don't really have Be to. Right back. Okay, I don't really have to do the whole numbers thing anymore. Oh my god! Two, two hundred, eight hundred. Look. Nope. Eight hundred by two hundred. There we go. Oh, sorry, no, I mean 600. Guess I do need numbers. Mm hmm. Two, four, yep, 600 again. Oh, I might as well make that a double tile. Double it up. Okay, it was just stranger danger at the door. Stranger danger! Two, I four. I don't answer six. strangers. It's One final floor, floor piece that's ugh, not two, twelve hundred. Two, four, six, eight, twelve hundred. And we've almost built all the floor area. I missed that bit. Four hundred. That'll be two hundred because I remember that area. That should be fine there.
Okay, we're looking good. One thing I will re do really quickly though is light everything up. Wait, look at that. I'm going to draw the next code winner in like 15 minutes, I think. Did he, did oh, and third player has posted uh, the block out from above in general chat. Cool. Thank you. I will look at that. Do you guys want to hear something gross? Ooh, go on them. Not super gross, but for me it was. Um, this morning, I was very sleepy and trying to wake up. And I just, like, I have really bad lungs, so breathing is kind of difficult in the morning and before bed. Um, so I went to breathe in really deep, and I breathed in a bug. Ugh. And then I coughed it out for like 10 minutes. I was like coughing, trying to get it out. It was so gross. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm dead. That's nasty. Yeah. I just like, it's first thing in the morning and I already want the day to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Darth wants to know what flavor it was. <laughs> it, was dust it was dusty flavor. <laughs> My life is dusty. Okay. So. That's what we have so far. Let's go ahead and build this interior area. Is it all one area? Yes, it is. Okay, this should be fairly straightforward then. I just have to figure out where I am. Here, okay. So from the start, yeah, from the start point, go right and start at that door. Okay. Start point is here, so we're going from this door. Tin Kelp just posted something about the creators of Star Control. Um, mm. And now I wish Steve was here to read this and see what he knows about it. About someone being sued. Star Control. Yeah, um. they're being sued by um, Brad Wardall's company, Stardock. I know nothing of this. I'm just reading the chat. Mm. Two, four, six. Yeah, we're going to do the floor of this area first. So that'll make things much easier to map out. Two, four, six, eight for that one. Then two, four, six, eight again for that one. Two, 
that way? Ooh, uh oh. Sorry, a very grim, dark thought just entered my head then. What? I hope these aren't paper thin walls. No. Ooh, Exile FR has just subscribed. Thank you. Whew. One sec. Sorry, it's oh, way too thanks hot. Thanks to Obsidian Carnage for hosting us. Just all remember and say it together. Thick walls save lives. <laughs> Okay, that might be changed. There is enough room to change it, so I can leave that alone. But that isn't gonna... That... That should be fine. Okay. Yeah, these... The interior is... much different. So that wasn't a block, that was an, that's an angular wall from that side. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Two, four, six, eight. Hang on, is that right? Two, four... No, that's not right, what am I doing? <sighs> Oh, blimey. You can tell it's Monday. Yeah. Now what have I done? <sighs> this whole thing has gone to poop. Okay, that's... That is a block. Right, never mind. That is a block. That wall's only 400 long. Okay. So, 400, then an angle, then 200, and that wall is the angle. That should be fine. Yeah, two angles, yeah, two angular pieces. Then the door. Oh no! Hang on a minute. Can't have that. No, can't have that because that's an angle. Yeah, because if I, yeah, if I keep that as it is, that's. Technically not correct. We can't have that. BRB. Okay. Um. I will. Oh, I can just make that a. I can just make that a block anyway. Doesn't matter. It can just be a block. The space here doesn't matter. So we should be fine. Yep. We got this. We're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm, it does make that entrance a bit tight, but... Uh, mm, I'll map out the rest of the space first and see what I have to work with. I could technically cut that off there. If the rest of this area is... Hmm. Okay. So I'm just thinking out loud. Um. Yeah, because there's a. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I. Wait a minute. No, that's not right. No! Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay. That's correct. <sighs> I blame the heat. So. Yeah. Yeah, that entrance is fine. Yeah, because there's a, there's a block there. In there. Hang on! Oh my god. Okay. No, 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 I was right the first time. Yeah, that is like that. Yeah. Because we'll have a 200 floor here. Hmm. Okay. That'll probably work out fine. 200... Yeah, that's got... Yeah, okay. Because that wall is now that shape, that can only be 200. Okay. Um... Four hundred there. Oh, hang on, I could just make one big. Okay. Start of, instead of carving up all the floors. Yeah. One block of 200 there, to cover that entrance way. Then, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So make that 800. Then make that 400, and we've covered the entire floor area here. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, because this is a room with some prizes in it. This is a 200 by 400 f wall. that little gap there then we use another one of those <coughs> take that block make it 400 stick it there yeah that's correct and then you walk in here so okay yeah that's right okay we're good. So that's 
400 that way, as I've already done. Then we have... Two of... Those pieces. Uh, that piece, I'll just delete that and copy it over, save time. Okay. Yep. 200 there. Two, four, six, okay, so that's two, four, okay. Two hundred per four hundred, okay, so that fits, that fits in that hole, that fits in that hole. And this is a hidden little room. So we can copy that wall to make the hidden room. So that wall is two, four, six. Okay, okay so this is just a closed area, right? Two, four, six. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's all good. I should keep an eye on the chat while Kelly's away. Oh I, yeah, I'm reading the chat now. Yeah, Duff, uh, Jamex. Uh, do do do. Yeah, I need to check the walls first in this particular case because because um, it's inside an area that um, like the exterior walls. These are all fine because they don't. They're not constrained by the other geometry that would be built around it. Um, this is. Hey, this this area was so to build. I needed to build the walls first to make sure that everything was fine, and it is now. So I can put the floor in. Sorry that I was gone for like what five minutes. <laughs> no, that's fine. I I'm uh, gonna draw a winner soon. I didn't read the chat and everyone's going, ha ah, ha, Dan's not reading the chat and he's an idiot. Oh. Ah. Darth yeah. is right, though, because you do read the chat when I'm around, but mm. <laughs> it's funny. All right, let me draw a winner for okay. our last Necropolis key, and we still have one more key for another game later. All right. The winner is Obsidian Carnage times 12. E. Congrats. To four. <clears throat> then copy that over and might as well just copy that floor there. Actually, no, we'll save space a bit. It'll do that. 
I will be drawing one more winner for another game in like another 15 minutes, maybe. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's light this up. All right. Obviously, uh, this is rough lighting. It will all change by the final thing. Wolfenbach has joined us. <laughs> I do need to go around just to make sure. I'm sure there's another doorway. Yeah, that joins up with that. I'm sure there's another door. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We do have a smaller area in here, so, yeah. That was around here. That lift to the first area should just be outside this door. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my computer's playing up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we've got a 400 long wall here. I don't think this is going to hit any of the blockade I've just done. It shouldn't do. It's a, it's a small area, so we can rejig it. Um, so the entrance is there. Just that. Copy that over. That's only 400 there. Then we have a little gap for an energy station. Then a 200. Ooh, actually, I think this just works out. Yeah, this just works out. Okay, so I'll make that wall 600. No point putting an extra block down. Um, that's 200. Hmm. Okay, so that isn't actually a... Okay, so that isn't a solid... Well, it is a solid wall, but it's not... that shape. Who oh, put a little office in here? Seems crazy. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's 800. Yep. 
do one 400 by 400 floor to that piece. Hmm, not sure about that. That might be changed, but we have space to change it, so it's not a problem. That's cutting it on the thin side there, but we could just make that a solid wall if we wanted to. It's no biggie. Okay. We have about 30 minutes left of the stream, so if anyone has questions for Daniel, remember to ask me at using um, at Night Dive Studios. Do Art, props, power station, where are you? There you are. Um, Darth is asking, will there be any varieties of puzzles that were not in the original game? Yes. Um, I think that stuff's been worked on right now, actually. There are some new variations, but what they are, um, not going to spoil just yet. We haven't done a lighting build. Let's do that while I un unpeel myself from this chair because, oh my goodness. Whew. It is, it is hot. Um, Darth is wondering, will there be differing levels of loot on enemies or increase based on difficulty? Um... It should be random. Um, in the original game it was random. Minus a few special enemies. Um, it should be like that. Um, we need to discuss that further. But yeah, I can, I can imagine being... I, I can imagine um, resources being scarcer the higher the difficulty, maybe. I'm not sure, I'm kind of just speculating on that. Alright, we've got a fair amount done today, actually. Yeah. Um... I mean, we, we've mapped out the entire floor area f and some walls for this. This uh, this has gone well. Now we can start building um, where we're supposed to actually go in the level itself. So, kind of just follow the path around. Here's another question. Will there be areas of vacuum slash new hazards that were not in the original? Um, possibly, um, 
We have some new ideas. Not drastically different from the original, but there, are, there, are, we, we, we do have some ideas. Is that right? Two, four, six, two, four. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. Um, okay, let's n steal that block f from here. Two, four, six, okay. It's so nice um, working with a brand new level in regards to um, how responsive Unreal is. Because it was really starting to chug by the end of the block out for level 7. So it's just so nice to get um, a fresh start really. Ooh yeah, this is Edward Diego's office. Um, Ivan wants to know, will there be secret endings like escaping from the station without killing Shodan? <laughs> we did... oh... Um... We did discuss it at one point, but it was a very long time ago. I... Don't know. That probably know. needs another discussion. <laughs> it does. Um... It's possible. Maybe. We've got a lot of things to decide upon still. Two, four, six. That's just too thick. Then two. Oh, hang on. This is going to be difficult. Two, two, four, six. Okay. Well, I might as well build this office now. Ah. Come on, Unreal, work with me here. There we go. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, Darth's wondering, are there any games in the Night Dive Studios library that we fully own besides System Shock? Um, I feel like that's a Steve question because I'm not positive. I don't know if we can talk about that without breaking some massive yeah. contracts. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like something only Steve could answer. Yeah. Sorry, can't talk about that. Try... I, I've... I've rolled the mental eight ball and it says ask again later. <laughs> Devour Mistress is asking, have you guys decided on how you freshen up, how we'll freshen up the show to fight? And I don't think that's been a conversation at all, actually. Uh, not yet. We did have a lot of talks about things but unfortunately um, since the hiatus 
um, it's been difficult. So um, we have other priorities to settle first. Ugh, yeah, it's it's long and complicated. In three minutes, I will draw a winner for the mystery game we were going to give away today. Any kind of questions about like uh, contracts and acquiring things and complex legal stuff is really for Steve. Yeah. Don't want to break my contract, guys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Exile is saying. Uh, is it just me, or was the hiatus a bit shorter than planned? And I have to say, it wasn't even really a hiatus. <laughs> well, it... I, I wouldn't really call it that, because people were still working. Yeah. Um... Like, the actual, quote-unquote, time of not working was very minimal. Yes, that is true. Um... Yeah, that's that, that. That is correct. We won't get deep into it. I would no. just say I wouldn't really call it a hiatus, anyhow. That I'm, was the best word that we had available. Yes, I'm watching my tongue very carefully. Yeah, that's For why I'm saying. It's, it, yeah, it. I just keep in mind that like I don't think we ever really stopped working. No. It just depends on how you look at things. It does. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it, the answers will all become clear in time, but not now. I, I yeah. We can't talk about it, not now. Uh, okay, back on track. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we have 20 minutes left of our stream. I'm going to draw a winner for our final giveaway. Um, Daniel, do you want to say what it is? Okay. Um, somebody mentioned it earlier on, and... Oh, hang on. Yeah, later. Uh, somebody mentioned it earlier on. Yes, it is a copy of Metal Fatigue, um, the GOG version. So, if you want a key for the GOG version of Metal Fatigue, um, that's the game that we'll be giving away. So, if you want a copy, be sure to enter and do it now. Cause yep, yep, yep. Cause I'm going to be drawing it. Yep. Going once, going twice. All right. If you haven't entered exclamation point raffle, it's too late. I'm drawing a winner. All right. The winner is Theodore Knights. Theodore Knights. Cool. Congrats. All right, I'm going to find him and whisper the game key to him. What is that? What what is whisper? Just you got a game key. Game key. Game it's key. a private message, but they call it whisper on <clears throat> here, I think. Congrats. Congrats. <clears throat> it's taking me a moment to find him. I'm going to make that 200 cuz why not Hmm <laughs> it does This is just an interrogation room isn't it If I remember rightly I didn't read the sign on the door Interrogation yep I'm right <clears throat> I should label this area what it is Where is my text? There it is. Yep. 
Oh, they call this area extraction. It sounds a bit tortury, doesn't it? Yeah. Because this is the security level. They want to extract information from people. I can't find this guy. He might not be in chat anymore, and I can't look him up, so I might have to pick another winner. Oh. Um, I'll give him a few minutes to claim this key in chat. Um, if you're not in chat right now, then I'm not going to give it to you because I cannot find you by looking you up on Twitch either. So guys, you might have another attempt to win. If the winner doesn't speak up. Yeah, for some reason I can't find him by looking up his name. And I don't think he's in chat. Ooh, I'm working off the grid. No, bad. Bad, bad, bad. There we go. Oh yeah, I found him now, but he's not in chat, I don't think. I don't want to link it if he's not around, so I'll give him one more minute to say something in chat. Speak now or forever forfeit your key. I just pinged him in chat. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll see. Yeah, he might not be here. He might have just like, left his page open or something. So I nearly ended the stream by accident by clicking in the wrong place. Oh no! <laughs> that would have been bad. Uh, okay, right, let's focus now, let's get this done. The only reason I don't want to, like, whisper it to him is just in case he never sees it, and then that's a key just sitting there. I want to give it to someone who's actually here. And this is the first time this has happened. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'm going to pick a different winner. Okay, guys, you have another chance. If you want to win Metal Fatigue GOG version, exclamation point raffle, do it now. Have about, I guess, a minute from now? Because the stream, yeah. stream delay and all that. Alright, guys, here's your chance. Everyone, um, I'm going to pick it now. Xerxes9000 has won. Xerxes, you mean Xerxes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
All right. Is he here? For his <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> he is here. Hey. I have whispered you uh, the redeem link. I am so pleased with the amount of progress we've made today. Yeah, it's great. You have about 10 minutes left of the stream, so... Really? Oh my goodness. Any, yeah, any last minute questions, let us know. We'll be wrapping things up pretty soon. Uh, oh, an 800 room, okay. Two, four, six, eight. Exile's like, all I can think of is boxes or briefs and a hundred duck sized horses or one horse sized duck. <laughs> I've determined that AI now stands for all insects. Ah, come on, there we go. Oh, Exile was wondering who's doing Shodan's voice, and it, it's original voice actor actress. So, yep, get that people happy. And no, we're not doing um, the original recordings. We're doing new recordings. Two hundred. Oh, hang on. Two, four, six, 
eight. That looks to be about eight hundred. Just that one wall though. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, actually, that might be a thousand. Oh, yeah. Exile is wondering about the Shodom voice clip that we we had. We did do one for a Kickstarter update. Yes. A while ago. Like a year ago, I think. <sighs> a long time ago. Alright, we have five minutes left of the stream. Any last words? Anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to show? Darth's asking, so what's Shodan like IRL? <laughs> um... <laughs> Deep Chrome window. Deep Chrome has all of the fan art. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I found the LGXX plasma rifle. Anybody who's played this game knows that, that that it is an amazing slash hilarious slash uber dangerous weapon. Um, Darth's wondering, um, since Chris Mansell still working, is there any more medical finished? Um He's currently um, very busy with a lot of stuff, but he's n he's currently in technically another country at the moment. So um, he has work, but it's not synced up to the repo. I think. Um, I think he'll be back soon, though. He will. Um, he will. Devour Mistress is saying, was it fun redesigning Shodan? And there isn't any redesign, and I feel like that's more of a Rob Waters question. Yeah. Um, that stuff is going to be decided very soon. Um, but uh, I don't expect too much to change. Obviously, excuse me. Um, obviously, people know Shodan a lot from the um, uh, Shodan is most well known for her System Shock Two look. Um, you know the face; everybody's seen the face. Um, But that face, I'm, I'm confident that I'm right when I say this, but Rob didn't design that face. That was done by somebody else. I'm not sure who. Um, I, I think it was a, somebody called um, Matt Ryan. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure he did the Shock 2 face. But I'm I'm sure Rob won Rob did the shock one face, so people 
it, if, if you're expecting Shodan to look very similar to System Shock 2, it will mo it will probably be different. Um, but not drastically different. Shodan is Shodan. I mean, in System Shock 1, um, she is very much... If, if you know the history of System Shock, she was originally not a she. Um, the robot was a he. It's still present in a lot of the audio logs, the text of the audio logs. And even in, in one recording of the audio log, they refer to as Shodan as a he. Um, now that it's been established that Shodan is a she, um, it will most likely change to reflect that a little bit more. Um, but that's kind of speculation on my part. But that's what like what will most likely happen. Uh, I'll make that one hundred. Save some space. They don't even need to be that high. Um, so we're hitting our two hour mark. Right. Um, anything to close up the stream? You mean from me or from. For you. For you. Would you have any last things oh. to say? Anything to close um, it up? Just while I finish this last little bit of area. Uh. I suppose I just want to say thanks guys for watching. I mean, it's it's always nice to show off what's going on and to um you know, keep keep you guys in the loop about what's going on. And yeah, just thanks for thanks for showing up and watching and having a chat. It's always nice. Yeah, we'll just do that last final floor piece. While you finish that up, um, I'll remind people that on the 27th, which is Wednesday, I'll be uh, streaming more Noctropolis at 4 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. EST. And then the next day, we should have Jonathan Holmes back at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST. And then on the 29th, um, we may have a multiplayer stream, but we'll have to update on that later. Mm. That could, that could uh, change. Right. So yeah, let's finish this off. So today we started off with practically nothing. Um, but if I just quickly full screen that, I mean, we got all that done in two hours. That's not bad. Awesome. That's not bad. Um, so, yeah, progress is going well. I won't, um, I won't touch this level. I'll save it now in, actually I'll do a build real quick. I'll do a build and save it, um, here. What I most likely will do is go in, go back through and annotate it. Uh, I don't do annotations on stream, I'll do them off stream because... It's just better that way. Um, but yeah, this uh, this this uh, what you see now won't change. Um, nothing new, blockout wise, will be added to it. And next Monday, we'll come back to this and keep going. I'll continue to work on level nine in the meantime. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, cool. So yeah, anything else? You want to say, Carly, before we wrap up? No? Nothing? Oh, sorry. I was saying, uh, <laughs> be sure to keep up with us on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord, because we're always there. Yeah. 
All right. Cool. 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 So yeah. Until next. Uh, <laughs> until next time, guys. Yeah. yeah words. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks very Bye. much. Bye bye.